Hi, welcome to second video of the series which is on research aptitude. In this video we will cover research, what, what does it mean, what are its characteristics, what are the types of research, different steps involved in research and I think I'm also we will cover some previous year questions on this topic. So in general, uh, they ask around three to five questions from this particular topic. And again, there are two to three questions on sampling methodology, which we will cover in a later video. So let's get started. So what does research mean? Research is a combination of two uh, words, which is re plus search. Re means again, search means search so, so basically going back and trying to find out either something some new information or uh, uh, trying to validate uh, some of the old beliefs so the process generally involves you know gathering data analyzing it and coming up with some new conclusions so what are the, uh, some of the characteristics which define a research so research has to be analytical or critical going deeper into the depth of some idea it has to be systematic the process or the procedure involved in conducting research uh, should be based on the research principles controlled uh, this is ma mainly about scientific research where you know the variable uh, has to be constant accurate it, the uh, experiment should be replicable he has to be brave enough to go into the newer areas and come up with something new it should be original nowadays although it's a cop uh, era of copy and paste but your research should be uh, your original work depending on the type of research that you're conducting at times it takes years and years to, to come up with some generally based on a hypothesis that is that is a statement that you assume to be true and then you start you know in validating that and it should be done by some expert of that area of course i mean first you need to know the existing knowledge only then you can come up with something new on the subject moving on so the a very high level process will be identification of a problem you review of literature formulation of hypothesis come up with a statement which you try to validate you in your research come up with a research methodology that how you are going to conduct the research then you collect data you analyze and interpret that and then you publish your results well this is a very important slide because no matter what kind of research you're doing the basic steps will remain the same right so uh, they may uh, you know test you on the uh, you know they may give you some steps and then you have to uh, put them in the correct order like you cannot publish your results before even uh, you know reviewing the literature or uh, formulation of hypothesis so all of these uh, words can be replaced uh, with something else but the overall process remains the same then there are several types of research and again, this is not a comprehensive, but there are different types of research with, uh, which are there. So you can say that uh, you generally uh, compare descriptive versus analytical. You compare applied versus fundamental. So these are two different types which involve. So uh, descriptive is uh, analyzing existing state of affairs, like using surveys and fact findings. Analytical is analyzing cause of already available information of that then we have applied versus fundamental research applied research is gently used a particular problem in hand whereas fundamental research is coming up with a generalized theory so um, applied research can be you know very context specific whereas fundamental research is coming up with a broad theory which will have word in a, in a generalized theory and then we have quantitative versus qualitative research quantitative of course uh, deals with quantifiable variables and qualitative is where you cannot really put a number uh, on the variables like human behavior it's a very subjective topic and then we have conceptual versus empirical research concept you can make out from the word itself it, it 
deals with the concept mm-hmm. it involves a, a very abstract idea or theoretical framework and empirical is where you observe behavior of uh, the subject for some time and then come up with the conclusions and there are some do's and don'ts of uh, research ethics like we have covered a research work should be original and you have to uh, specify all the sources of your information if you have uh, taken some reference of somebody else's work you have to uh, mention that in your research you have to give due credit uh, then your research has to be reviewed by some uh, reviewers some unbiased reviewers uh, if if you are publishing your research in multiple places then you need to specify where all it is going to be published or where all it has already been published uh, if again if you are using somebody else's uh, uh, copyrighted material you have to obtain copyrights for that and then don't says of course never duplicate publication if you are all submitting it in multiple places then that has to be specified then you you have to be unbiased when you're doing some research you cannot have a particular conclusion in mind and just to prove that you're are doing something that should not be done and uh, your you should not misrepresent your research findings again you have to be very unbiased neutral when you're doing some research on any topic so what should be the format of your thesis uh thesis is basically you know summary of your research it starts with the, uh an introduction where you are where you this whole thesis is all about then what a review of related rit- literature that which gives you some background okay this is already available and this this is where i am taking the things forward and then we have uh, uh, then you specify what methods uh, have you followed then how you have you collected data how have you analyzed this is what you specify in the next section and then you actually do the data collection you analyze it you interpret it and finally you uh, conclude your thesis now we are going to cover some of uh, previous year's questions uh, these were the questions which were asked in december 2013 you can uh, maybe pause the videos just try to guess what are the answers and then uh, play the video again to check whether your uh, answers are right or not okay so here we go the first question is what is the main objective of research to review the literature is a step in the research it's not the objective to summarize what is already known is not again a research it's you know it's again a step uh, in research but it's not the objective to get an academic degree again it's not really an objective of research and uh, of course the answer is d to discover new facts to or to make fresh interpretation of existing material the next question is the principle of fundamental research are used in action research applied philosophical or historical answer is b applied research then uh, then again uh, if you go back to the slide where we talked about you know what are the steps in uh, a research you can come up with the answer of this so answer is a so first you uh, take the covariation you eliminate the uh, spurious relation you generalize and then you theorize so again if you see the term used in the questions are very different but logically it's the same sequence okay moving on so these are four questions from december 2006 so a research can be conducted by a person answer is c so similarly you can just go through all the questions validate your answers if you have come up with the right answers or not and last slide is three questions from december 2007 and you can pause to give yourself some time to answer the questions and here are the answers uh please leave uh, your feedback uh, on the video uh, i'll thank you so much for your time